There are plenty of questions to be answered in the eighth and final season of Game of Thrones, but perhaps the biggest of them all is who will end up sitting the Iron Throne itself. I asked a number of the stars from the show, and they laughed in my face. <laughs> So instead, I slightly reworded the question by asking them who they thought deserved to sit on the Iron Throne while winking. As in, I was winking while I asked the question. I didn't ask who should sit the Iron Throne and wink while they sat there on the throne. I mean, that would just be creepy. I think what's interesting about where we come into at the end of season seven and the beginning of season eight is that it really is kind of all to play for. There's nobody who is a clear leader for the, the race to the throne. I think Jon Snow probably would be a, a pretty honourable man to be in charge. A solid choice, if not a predictable one. I mean, why not Bran himself? I think he'd be a good advisor or something. Um, but I think you need someone with a bit of, you know, pizzazz. Fair point. Pizzazz is an important quality in a leader, as well as, you know, good morals, I guess. And Jon Snow is one bastard who certainly has those. You feel he's a character whose heart's in the right place and he does things for the right reasons. And quite often he's placed in positions that he doesn't necessarily want to be in. <clears throat> like when he's <clears throat> made the Lord Commander of the Night's Watch, he doesn't want to do it, but he responds well to that pressure and he, he leads from his heart and he always does things with the right set of moral principles. So it'd be John for me. Well, there you have it. All hail King John and all here, Advisor Bran. But wait, could there be another contender to the throne? Me. Sounds stuck. Hmm, she certainly seems serious. I'm serious. See, I told you. Yeah. I just think she'd be a good ruler because she doesn't necessarily want it, but she's very diplomatic. She has absolutely no skeletons in her closet. No skeletons in her closet, and she is very politically minded. Yeah. Um, and very fair. I think she'd be a wonderful leader. Anyone else for Team Sansa? I think compared to John, she has like a a sort of political like Nous to her that he doesn't. I think she, she's yeah. not naive anymore, but she still has a kind of moral compass. But she's more, kind of savvy, politically savvy. I would yeah, say. I think she's definitely more politically savvy. But I think John just goes on right and wrong. Well, maybe that's not enough. Uh, she's got you there, Tali. All hail Queen Sansa. But wait, what if there's a dark horse in this race, or at least a dark dog? <laughs> I'd happily have the Hound on the throne. Any day. I think what I think what Westeros needs is a, a nice healthy dose of sarcasm and cynicism and uh, <laughs> swearing. <laughs> All hail King Sandor? Hmm, seems unlikely. Still, it would be better than having no king at all. Or would it? For the wildlings, it's like they don't believe in having a king or, 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 or a throne. So, uh, for in Tormund's point of view, he thinks the whole Game of Thrones thing is stupid. Yeah, I don't think any of these uh, leaders in this world necessarily deserve to be the leader. Well, I feel very similarly. I think that the, none of the characters have demonstrated um, that they want to be a leader and it isn't about their own ego and their own desire to lead as opposed to what they can actually bring. So I'm just enjoying watching them all become uh, increasingly less suitable to do the job. Yeah. All hail democracy, I guess. I mean, most of the best candidates for the crown have been killed off by now. And it's not like they can be brought back from the dead. Or can they? Well, I still think it should be Stannis. Aww. <laughs> he had a legitimate claim. Okay, sure, why not? All hail undead King Stannis. Unless... I loved your answer, who you thought should be on the tr throne. I, th I thought it was the best Samuel answer. Samuel Tarly. Correct. There's no chance, but of course, a world where he would be king, that would be pretty good. That'd good be world. a cool world, wouldn't it? Yeah. Wait a minute. Did you say there was no chance of Samuel Tarly sitting the throne? There's no chance. Aha! You're obviously deliberately throwing me off the scent, and Samuel Tarly will in fact be crowned king of Westeros. All hail King Sam! Right, guys? This is the old double bluff. The old, the old double switcheroo, I believe they call it. Damn it! You're a cunning man, Liam Cunningham. Well, we'll all know soon enough who's going to come out on top at the end of Game of Thrones. Who do you think it'll be? Let us know in the comments and be sure to check out our breakdown of the Season 8 trailer and teaser trailer.